What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over my November 2020 results for my From Zero to 2K series, and I'm also gonna be going over my December 2020 marketing strategy. If you wanna watch all of my videos in this series, you can find them directly on YouTube on my From Zero to 2K free digital marketing training playlist, and you can see all of my videos here. We started with how to create Amazon affiliate marketing websites, and that's where I created my website, wickerguide.com. So we're gonna keep going through our overall results and we're gonna get started here by looking at our October 2020 results. So the three main key performance indicators that I really wanna increase are earnings, page views, and affiliate plus ad clicks. So in October 2020, I had $11.37 in earnings, 1,332 page views, and 125 affiliate plus ad clicks. So fast forward to November 2020, our earnings actually went down slightly, so a couple dollars down, not a huge issue, I'll go over why that happened. Our page views went up to 3,861. When you're seeing your page views increase, your earnings will follow. So don't worry too much if you are seeing increases in your page views, in your affiliate and ad clicks, but you're not seeing them in earnings because I expect to see this grow in December, in January, and I do think I can hit the 2K mark by March or April. So we're gonna come over here to important notes. I didn't publish any new content in October, which is why there's no major growth in November. All of my blog posts and products that I published, for the most part, came in November. So I added 29 new blog posts this past month and 824 new products. And then starting tomorrow, I will be publishing social media posts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So to quickly review my November 2020 marketing strategy, we come down here to the bottom. My five goals were 30 plus blog posts, so I did 29, 3,000 plus new Pinterest pins, so I ended up not hitting that number, 10 plus Facebook posts, 10 plus Instagram posts. So this, I actually, I'm gonna push off till this month. So I will have both of these for this month, and I'm gonna make sure I'm publishing to Twitter, even though I don't expect much coming back from Twitter. And then improve website user experience. So I did improve my homepage, my menu, my sidebars. I added a search function, and I have more categories so people can easily navigate my website. My video coming out shortly will go over how to improve your website user experience. So my goal was to add all of this different content in November 2020. So what I didn't wanna do now is come over to results and we're gonna update our results. So updated on December 1st, today is December 1st and we're looking at November 2020. So how our overall performance was. So we can take some of this data that we already have, revenue, page views, and affiliate and ad clicks and enter them right now. Okay, so first we'll just look at earnings and you can see here we're looking at November 1st to November 30th for my tracking ID Wicker 07. So this is just for my Wicker Guide website. So 355 clicks. 15 total ordered items, 12 shipped items. So earnings only come when your items are shipped and then you don't obviously get any earnings if people return items. So based on my experience, a conversion percentage of 4.23% on Amazon isn't that great. So I do expect this to go up. So as I drive more and more clicks, and you can see this red line here represents clicks. We've seen a little bit of growth towards the end of the month in consistent clicks, but really we've seen some more ordered items at the end of the month. And I'm sure Black Friday and Cyber Monday helps with that as well. Not anything huge here. And I really didn't expect any huge growth because most of my work again came in this month. So we have clicks here, we have our total earnings. So came over here, I added my affiliate and ad clicks and my total earnings. Now total published articles, so you can see here I had two. I had two on November 1st. Right now if I come over to Wicker Guide and we go to our posts, I have 31 published blog articles. So we'll come over, we'll update our spreadsheet to 31. So again, 29 new blog articles, that is a major increase and I plan to increase this to at least 60 by the time we update our next results on January 1st. Clicks from Google Search Console, 46 to 93. And now this past month, if we open up our Google Search Console account, so we'll look at our previous month. Okay, November 1st to November 30th, 274 total clicks and 1,522 total impressions. So we'll come over here, we'll do 274, 1,552. Okay, so we've seen some good increases here. So almost doubled here more than doubled for our clicks. So we're seeing some good growth from Google Search Console. All of these are encouraging signs and as we see all of these increase, it's gonna increase this. So now we'll go down to our clicks from Bing Webmaster Tools and Impressions. 
So we're going to open up Bing Webmaster Tools. Okay, so we're looking at our search performance. This only updated up to November 28th. So we have a couple days of lag time. I'll put the additional data as I continue to enter next month. But for right now, we're going to do 12 and 777. So if we come back over to our spreadsheet and we do 12 and 777. So definitely some increases here. We are seeing major increases in impressions in Bing. So from 98 to 777. And if we come over here, you can see this is what happens when you start to work on your website. So nothing, 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 nothing. As you start to add more blog posts, you start to see some impressions and you'll see a jump. So we went from 10 impressions in one day to 133 to 124 to 115. Now at the beginning of the month, we were having zeros here. So if we just go to custom here and we look at three months of data, you can see there's major growth here as we come into the end of November. So working on your website consistently is very important for growth. And that's the major reason we don't see a huge earnings growth from one month to the next. Now, if we come over to our spreadsheet, you can see we have everything updated here. And what I like to do is look at these graphs. So we have our page views. So we have September and October 2020. So we'll update this. We have our affiliate and ad clicks. We'll update this and our revenue will update this graph right now. Okay, I updated my graphs. You can see we're seeing good growth here with page views. So we started just a little under 500. Now we're a little under 4,000. So seeing good growth with page views per month, affiliate and ad clicks is increasing and revenue you can see went up and then back down a little bit. So hopefully we keep this revenue line moving in the right direction. Now with December 2020, some of the different goals that I have. So we're going to be doing the same exact thing basically we did in November, except we're going to keep working down our keyword list. So if we scroll down here, you can see I've been creating my keyword map based on the content I created last month and previously. So you can see we come down here, we have all of these blog articles so far for these different keywords that we're targeting. So within this month, I would like to create blog articles for all of these additional gaps that we have. So all of these keywords, we have no blog articles on our website and no real pages on our website that target them. For example, Wicker Daybeds, I have nothing on my website about it. So we created our keyword list, I believe in video four, when we did our keyword list and our keyword mapping. So you can see I'm doing keyword mapping for my keyword list. And as we go down and I look at each individual keyword, I will keep putting that corresponding page there. Now, one thing to keep in mind, I've gone over this in the past already, you might see certain keywords that are just almost the exact same thing. You don't need to create multiple articles about them. For example, Wicker Outdoor Sectionals and Wicker Sectional Outdoor and Outdoor Sectional Wicker, they are all the same keyword. So I would just do Wicker Outdoor Sectionals, just order it in the way that sounds the best and how most people would say it. But when people are typing things into Google, a lot of times the order doesn't matter and none of that matters because it's all gonna be the same exact user intent. So for Wicker Outdoor Dining Chair and Outdoor Wicker Dining Chair, I'm not creating multiple articles. So what we want to do in December, we're going to scroll over here to the right hand side, keep creating more content for all of these different keywords. So I'm going to keep writing for every single one of these keywords and making sure I have products added to my website. I am going to create a video with adding products to the website and making sure we're categorizing them correctly. Now a couple things, my five goals for December. 30 plus new blog posts. So I'm looking for 60 plus total blog posts, 3000 plus new Pinterest pins. I'd like to have over 10,000 total pins. That will be lofty goal because we're at almost about 6,000 right now. 10 plus new Facebook posts, 10 plus new Instagram posts. We will be starting this tomorrow. And then 1000 plus new products and 30 plus new product categories. So I'm looking to have over 2000 products and over 70 categories. Right now I have 978 products and I have 41 categories. Now, if you look over here with search volume, this is the total search volume for all of the keywords over on the right hand side here. So we have search volume pulled and then my goal is to drive 1% of that traffic to my website. So that's gonna be almost about 12,000 clicks. I know this is an odd number, 11,909, but it's really just 1% of this number. So that's gonna be my goal is so to drive those clicks and I'd like to incorporate Google AdSense and the Wayfair affiliate program on my website. So I'm gonna be doing my applications for both of those this month. And as soon as I'm accepted, I will start adding some of those products, those advertisements and links. And what I can do is continue to add those numbers to my affiliate plus ad clicks as we do our results. So all of those clicks are gonna all be counted. So the more clicks we can drive, the more revenue we're ultimately gonna be able to drive for our business. 
So that's pretty much it. We're going to keep a very similar strategy. So we're just going to keep creating new content, make sure we're really staying active on Pinterest. And then I want to start incorporating more social media channels so we can keep driving new followers and then make sure I'm adding products to my website. So I didn't talk too much about products in the previous marketing strategy, but I want to make sure that I'm adding at least 1000 new products every single month. And you can see here, we go through the daily. So I started on Sunday, the 29th, that's fine. But you can see here, it starts on Tuesday, the first really. So what I wanna do is target all of these different keywords. I'm gonna write all these different articles. So on the 11th, I would like to create an article, Wicker Daybeds. I wanna have at least 100 Pinterest pins going out. And then we're gonna have at least 10 Facebook posts and Instagram posts throughout the month, probably Sunday, Wednesday, and Saturday, but I'm not gonna be stuck on just those days. So. We'll keep up with our current strategy and hopefully we can keep seeing some growth, especially in terms of revenue. But really what I'm trying to grow right now are my page views because I think that will ultimately lead to the goals that we wanna find. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.